What's going on YouTube? If you're new here, welcome to the channel and consider subscribing. My name is Mo. I live and work in Qatar as a personal trainer. I also do online coaching, but that's beside the point of this video. I post a lot of videos about working out and nutrition and all of that, but I just try as much as possible to also post content that's going to help people. I made a video like this probably two years ago and I saw a lot of people watched it and that's why I'm back here to just make a new version of that to hopefully explain it even better. This is for anyone who's planning to come to live and work in Qatar, but especially the people that are coming from Africa, my brothers from Gambia or anywhere else in Africa. So hopefully you find some useful information in this video, but watch it until the end. If you, uh, if you find it useful or at least informative, make sure that you give us a thumbs up and just share the video. Just before I get started with the video, just wanted to touch on something. I feel like a lot of us Africans, we don't do enough of sharing information, useful information, uh, information amongst ourselves. And I don't know why that is, it's like, okay, I've made it, I've figured this uh, out, and it's up to you guys to figure it out. And should it be like that? I think if you're successful or, you know, whatever, you should be able to just share the information with other people so they don't have to go through what you went through to achieve your, your, your success or your accomplishments. I feel in other cultures, people like to write books and make YouTube videos and just share their experiences in different ways. But for us, it's like you barely seen any one of us put out a book to teach us how he did what he did or how she did what she did. So I'm just trying to hopefully be able to share some useful information with you guys. And that maybe would be helpful to you. Me for nine years, I've worked in many different, worked with different companies and all that. So if you're someone who's planning to come here, I think I might have one or two things that would be able to help, help you out once you get here or even before you come here. Another thing that makes me want to do this video even more is because I have so many questions from people on Instagram, uh, people that know me in person, just send me a message or call, whatever, and ask me about if they want to come here. And so, and for some reason, when people ask you this question, they just want you to tell you, tell, they just want me to tell them a one word answer that makes them want to come or not come to this place. And it doesn't work like that because it's so many different factors and so many different things. And it's also difficult for me to reply to that somebody on Instagram and try to explain all these things to them. So that's why I make videos like this so that when people ask me a question, I can just send them a link to this video. And hopefully everything I talk about in this video will give them an idea of what they're looking for. And at this, after that, if they reach out to me again for one or two things that I can give them specific answers. So disclaimer, this is not me trying to tell you to come or not come here. Uh, whatever decision you make, pass this video as your own decision. Always think for yourself, always do what is best for you at any given moment. So don't take my word and say, oh, I'm not going to go to this country, it's not good. That's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm also not a lawyer, so I'm not trying to interpret laws or anything else like that. I'm just here to tell you my knowledge and experience being here for this long. That being said, let's get into the video. I know sometimes I just ramble a lot. I hope you guys can get some of what I'm saying at least. Uh, when you want to come to work in here, I'll use Gambia for, uh, as an example. You're Gambian, you want to come and work here. Uh, there are three ways that you can come in. You can come in here uh, as a tourist. You can come with a tourist visa. I've seen people come with a tourist visa. And then before that visa gets expired, they found a job and then change the visa to a work visa. I've seen things, uh, situations like that. Or you can come here with a work visa where you find a job on the internet or you know a friend here, family member, they help you to find a job and then this company will hire you directly from Gambia, make you a visa, send you the visa and you come here and start working. Or you can deal with agents. The agents usually would get you the visa and you come here and then you figure it out. So these three ways. I'm just going to try to make this video as short as I possibly can, also making you understand what I'm trying to put across. The three ways that you want to choose to come here from is like these three ways that I mentioned. And the best way that I know out of this is to find a job on the internet or through a friend, a relative, whatever. Make sure that you get the job before you come here. When you get the job before you can come here, the company that hires you, they're bringing you here to work for them. 
and so you get your contract before you come you know what your salary is going to be before you come you know um you know what kind of job you're going to do before you come here so you know everything basically if you're not going to pay for the visa or the air ticket they send you the visa they make you they buy your air ticket because they're hiring you they need you to come and work here so they're bringing you here basically they send you all these things and once you land at the airport this company will be there to pick you up and take you to your accommodation and then the next day you start to work from there life goes on that's basically how that works the other thing this i will just talk about the main two main ways that people come here because mostly people don't come with tourism visa and try to change that the other way the second way is to get the visa through an agent from my understanding some of these most of these agents they are not legit they are not straightforward with you they are going to lie to you and promise you that once you come we're going to give you this job we're going to give you the salary we're going to give you this accommodation and all of that but basically what they are trying to do is sell sell this visa to you you're going to buy the visa from an agent once you land at the airport you are on your own 90 percent of the time maybe some of these agents they're, they're, they're straightforward and they do as they say but most of them they won't land at the airport you call them they won't even receive the phone so now from there you're on your own i've seen so many people especially gambians come here and get stuck some of them they sold their properties or whatever they sold their belongings back home uh, and invest into coming here buying the visa buying the air ticket because somebody told them that they're gonna get this job but once they come here they, this guy will be nowhere to be found the only thing he's doing is to try to get the visa and then sell it to you but this visa in fact he is gonna get it for free because the government is not gonna sell you the visa if I have a company in Doha right now, I can just apply for five Gambian visas and tell immigration that I have five uh, vacancies that I want to bring people for to work for me, blah, blah, blah. And if I get the visas, then I take this visa and sell it. But in reality, I don't have any vacancy for you. So once you get here, I'm done with you and you cannot like take me to the police or anything. I don't know, maybe you can, but that's not something you want to go <laughs> into because it's going to be a whole other story for you. So the best way is to find a job before you come here. On the internet, talk to a company directly, no agents in between. The company will not lie to you. They don't have a business to lie to you. They can just tell you what they're going to pay you and what your job is going to be. And if they invest the money into bringing you here, they definitely not lie to you. So that is the best way. If you get a visa, I've seen it so many times. People from Nigeria, Gambia, you name it. They come here through an agent. They arrive here, they call the agent, the agent do not respond to their phones, they end up sleeping in who knows wherever, and they end up being in like some trouble, you don't have money. If it is in the summer, this place is crazy hot, it's not like Gambia where you can just go to your relative or just walk from here to that place. Everything here is about cars, you cannot really walk down the street that much. But during summer, it's crazy hot, you cannot be outside, you cannot sleep in a place where there's no AC or all of that. It's really difficult when you're here without a job and especially if you don't have a lot of money with you in those months that you're looking for a job. You need taxi to go everywhere, you need to pay for your food, there's nobody who's gonna give you nothing for free as you already know that. So my advice is never buy a visa from an alien. If you want to do it, fine, do that. I've seen also some people they buy visas from agents and luckily maybe the agent is straightforward once they arrive at the airport they pick them up and take them to the company because this agent is looking for uh, employees for another company that's that's different if i'm an agent and I'm a company contact me like look we need five people from Gambia. this is their job and i sell in i might still get the visas for free from the company but i say to these people once you arrive here, I can pick you and go deliver you to the company that's going to hire you. But for the most part, these agents, they are not doing that. They just take the money from you, sell you these visas that they didn't even buy to begin with. And then once you arrive here, you're on your own. Some people have to be here really like struggling so bad that they have to go back home and behind that. Or they have to ask people for money and for so much crazy stuff. So before especially buying a visa from anyone coming to Doha, make sure you talk to someone here. If they tell you that they're gonna uh, take you to so and so company, contact someone you know here that they can like find out what this company is about. In fact, it's just a company because sometimes they just lie to you and once you get here, you get stuck and you're on your own. And 
it's just difficult. Once you come with that agent visa here, even if you're looking for a job, a company might want to hire you, but it's also going to be a, a hassle for them to hire you. They're going to have to change your visa again, all over again. So for the most part, companies would just rather hire somebody who's already been in Doha and have a residence permit. So they don't need to go through all that. And if you stay here longer than your visa, so you get charges for that. Like every day that you uh, stay, if your visa is three months, and you stay past three months, you get charged every day after that three months, and you're gonna have to pay that before you leave the country. So that's that's just like very complex, and you cannot be here after three months, basically. So I'm trying to say, if you find a job, sometimes the companies will want to hire you. It's really difficult. So to cut this story short, don't rush into buying a visa from an agent. I had a friend who called me from Gambia, like, look, this guy wants to sell me this. This uh, to come to Qatar, blah, 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 this is the price. I said, give me the number of the guy. Give me the number of the guy. I called the guy. The guy is here. He's not even working. He doesn't even have a job. He's just trying to get visa, selling it to people back home. And then he take the money and these people get messed up when, once they arrive here. He doesn't even have a job himself. So when, when I called him, he was like shocked. He didn't think that this guy is talking to know somebody here and I've been here even longer than him. So that's how it works. I had the opportunity to sell visas to people. I have met two times people here that wanted to like put me in that, I would be the agent, they would get me the visas and I'll sell it to Gambians. And once they arrive here, they're on their own. I said, no, I would never want to do that because I know what I went through one, when I arrived here and I would not want to see anybody go through that. So that's why I didn't do that even though I could make money from it. But it's not just about the money for me, I'm also caring about the people. And, how I sleep at night, so I, I turned it down, but I know people who did that and they might have made a lot of money from it and make a lot of people miserable in the process, so it's not worth it for me, so basically that's, that's it, and I have some more topics that I want to touch on, I know I just, I'm all over the place when I'm talking, but I hope you get the idea, if you have any questions, comment below over this video, I would like to share my experience here, I think that we all should be doing that, as Africans, as Gambians, we must teach each other what we've learned and our experiences so that when you go through the next level, you won't have to go through it. That's my goal here. Uh, I hope you find some good information in this video. Comment below your questions. If you want me to explain anything in more detail or if you make a video about a totally different topic, I'll be more than happy to do that. Until next time, see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Help me out with this channel so we can reach out to more people. Yeah, see you on the next video. Peace.